I'm at mother's house still working on a to-do list while mommy's over here working on her phone. What are you doing, baby? Sending messages. <laughs> Sending messages. <laughs> okay. And I've got I've got an exterior screen door, you know? One of these. It's a nice door system. Somebody installed it years ago for my parents. And it's got the one-way screws, so you can only tighten it, you can't loosen it. Not your screwdriver falls right off it. And what's happened is this door is slightly sagged down, just a hair, not very much. You can hardly even tell, because up at the top, you should have a bigger gap on the right-hand side than you do the left-hand side, but you don't, do you? Okay, so... But still, I know it's sagged a little bit, and how do I know that? It's because when the door, when the door closes, and I throw the deadbolt, the bottom edge of the deadbolt hits. So you've got two places here. The door latch fits into that one. The deadbolt fits there. And I look at this really close. Look at these. Try to try to lock that. See. It's not locking and it can lock if I lift up on the doorknob just a little bit let's see lock in it there it's not going in all the way but if I lift up on the door knob and go it goes straight in but then it's hard to come back because it's hitting the very bottom it's rubbing I lift up on it, I can lock it. But who wants to do that every single time? And you know what? They should have made these two and three quarter back set as opposed to two and three eighths because it's so close. Your knuckles are right next to the edge there. I don't know why they didn't do that. They should all have these two and three eight, two and three quarters, meaning from this edge over to the center. And see, two and two and three eighths of an inch right in the center. They should have had these two and three quarters. But whoever did that, oh well. Okay, so I'm going to fix that. It's not going to take me very long to do this. So I thought I would show you how to do it. I have just a rasp bit. See how there's little nodules on there. Just got that in my drill, and I'm just going to ream out the bottom edge of that. That's, that's all I'm going to do. I've got my... Got my little glasses on, I've got some earplugs on. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ream it down. I don't need to go very far. about halfway so I got halfway to go from here over I'm hoping my battery doesn't wear out after that I did bring my charger with me but I didn't bring an extra battery with me and not very often do I get the cut from here up to here. This is all like brand new. Usually I cut a strike place from here to about there and this is all almost smooth. I, I'm not using the cutter, half of this cutter, the middle to the front. Okay, but I can push it in far enough on here to where I'm, I'm cutting here so it's a lot easier for me to do this even though my bit is was still bad. I thought, hey, I'm not going to throw that away. I might use it someday if I can just reach up to the edge up higher. Now I can with this.
that. You're going to see what I see. I'm not going to turn the camera off because I don't want you thinking I'm messing you around. Now let's throw the bottom lock. Oh, look at that. There's a little bit of slop in there, but if I pull on this, it goes right in. Because before, the bottom edge of that was hitting, remember? Okay, there we go. Fixed. That's all I did. And I can feel just a, just a little edge right there. I don't want to feel anything with my fingers. I don't want anyone to have to cut themselves on that. And I'll see if I can't hit some of that off. There. That's better. I did that just with that little bits. If you don't have one of those bits, you got to get one. I use this thing for all kinds of things. Okay. Find it at the hardware store. Okay. That's all she wrote. And my handle, I was working on this. The handle seemed a little loose too, so I just gave it a once over, tightened it up. Deadbolt, tighten that up because it was just slightly loose. Everything's working fine. And I set that there and locked this up. Right in. That's sweet, I'm liking that. Okay. Go for it. And save your money. Don't call the door company. You don't need the door company to come out here and charge you $95 to tell you all they got to do is ring that out and 10 minutes they're going to give you a bill for a hundred bucks. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh-uh. No siree. Okay.